recently I got a feeling that I didn't tell you enough about, guess what, page templates. And yeah, we kind of created two page templates here, like an index template and single post template. And that's all. That's obviously not enough to create a fully functional block theme. And that's why we are gonna dive into it in this video. And first of all, uh, I'd like to show you one thing. For example, if you go to posts and open this post, you can see that it's kind of working, yes? But if you go to pages right now, and if we try to open this page as well, we have just like a home page of our website, yeah? That's obviously should be fixed. And how to do that? By the way, uh, here uh, I have one picture. And this is kind of a template hierarchy of all the possible templates here. We're gonna use this image later in this video. But right now, let's just uh, go back to our site editor right here. And let's just go ahead and create another template for pages, right? So we're just gonna hit this plus button and then we just go and hit this pages. Yeah, let's do that. We need it for the old pages, so we're gonna click this. And here WordPress suggests us to use a pattern. And here it suggests us just the home page. And that's obviously not what we need. So let's just skip it for now. And, um, and let's open in another tab our single template because I'm gonna use it, but not like fully. I'm gonna remove the comment section from here. So for now, let's just, oh yeah, yeah. Let's just copy this whole group from here and then we're gonna paste it here. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> uh, and let's paste it like this. Yeah, now it's, it's okay. And uh, yeah, let's just remove this comment section. Easy, like this. And maybe we do not need this categories and post date information as well. Something like this, yeah? On that save. Great. And now we have pages and single post templates. And of course, if you just go to to the page of our website. Now it's working and it doesn't have comment section. Everything is great. And right now let's just move this page into our custom block theme, right? Into the template. And then I'm gonna use this scheme. And as you can see from here, you can start from this left part and then you can slowly move to the right. Uh, let me show you how. For example, we need a page and it is kind of a static page. That's how we name it. And so we go like this, single posts, then static page, then page template. And it's kind of, are you gonna use it um, on the front page? Then you're gonna go this way. But in our case, we're gonna use this direction and here you can choose are you gonna use a custom page template or like a default template so as you remember we didn't use any custom page templates here so we're gonna go default template way so we go next and here we can create a page for with a specific slug so this template can be used for the page with its specific slug i'm gonna i'm not gonna gonna show <laughs> i'm not about to show you it right now because it's rarely used i guess and then we have page HTML. So right now we can just go to our theme and create page HTML file here. But let me show you one more thing. So if you're not about to use a page HTML, but if your page template is exactly the same for posts and for pages, you can use this singular HTML template, right? But in our case, we can use page HTML. And that's, here's also the explanation why we have, at the beginning of this video, why we have index template displayed by default. Because if your page 
doesn't have any kind of these templates, then index.html is gonna be used by default. All right, in our case, we're gonna create a page, oops, a page HTML template. So we're gonna go it like this. Then we're gonna go to our template here, pages, edit, then here, copy and paste it here on that save. And then we can return to our block, I mean site editor. And um, the last, oops, and the last but not least, let's just remove the customizations. That's it. No, right now we have a template for pages and this template is used from our theme, from the templates folder, like this. All right, I guess we are done with pages. And now let me show you another template. For example, let's just go to the site homepage and maybe we can try to search something. For example, <laughs> this one. And as you can see, nothing changed. If you try to search hello, nothing changed as well. And why is it happening? Because uh, actually we can use index template for search, but there is one thing that is missing. And let me show you what is it. So if we go to the query block here, let's just select it. That's the query block with our posts. Here we have this checkbox, Qu use query from the template, and we need to choose it. After that, as you can see, all these additional settings are gonna be di are disappeared. And yes, in that case, this query block is, go go is going to use the main query of the page. All right, let me just show you. So I just hit this checkbox on that save. Then I'm just gonna go here. For sure, if I refresh it right now, nothing happens. But if I try to search something like this, then we have no posts. And of course we can add something like nothing found like this on that save. And now it's kind of working. All right, and for the search and for archives templates, actually it's not even necessary to create a new page template because you can just add a title here. I guess it's gonna be Okay, let's just uh, find it right here. And I guess it's gonna be search results title and archive title. Let's just add both of them like this, <laughs> yes. On that save. Then if you're gonna refresh this page. Oops. And does it work really? Yeah, it's working. And right now you can see that the title is now displayed like this for search results. And if you go to any categories page like this, category archives, uh, the title for categories is also displayed here. Why not? So it's not even necessary to create a new page template for search results and for categories or tags like this. So we can just add these two titles right here. But of course it doesn't look very nice <laughs> here in the site editor. So you can just go ahead and um, create a new template and it's gonna be search results. And then yes, we can use this pattern from here, from the index template. And we can just go ahead and remove this part and everything else, else is just as it is on that save. Actually nothing gonna change here or, or here. So everything is exactly the same because the template is actually really the same. And right now let's just copy all its code from here. Then we're gonna open our picture with files and let's try to do it the same way. So we start from this part from the left and we go this way, search results, doo -doo 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 -doo. and here we're gonna use search HTML file. Or if you go next, by default, 
index is gonna be used. All right, let's just go ahead and create a search HTML. You're gonna paste everything here, just like this. And then we can, we can refresh our site editor right now. And then we're gonna clear all the customizations. And right now this search results page is fully used from your theme files. Something like this. Actually, we can do the same for categories or it's not, not exactly necessary to do. All right, what else to show you? Maybe we can also create a 404 template and um, maybe one template, a cu one custom template for, I don't know, for some specific needs. All right, let's start with 404 and then we just use it like this. We can choose this pattern or yeah, we can choose it. And then we just remove all this part from here. <laughs> of course, I'm sure. And we're gonna remove this and we're gonna remove that. And right now we just have columns and um, all right. And then we can just add <laughs> something like this. Maybe it's not uh, exactly the best idea, but, and then we're gonna have a title, 404 not found. All right, I guess we, we can merge these two blocks into a group. Right. Group, and then we're gonna move the title here as well. Okay, now it looks nicer. On that save, and then we just go to this template code here, copy all of that. Then we open our picture with templates, and we just scroll down a little bit and go this way for a four page and 404 HTML. Let's create that. All right, 404 HTML, copy all of that here. And then we just go better refresh this page and then clear customizations. Great, we're done with this template as well. And the last but not least, I would like to show you how to create a custom page template and um, how we can do that. Of course, first of all, we can just hit uh, this plus button from here, and then we're gonna select this custom template. And uh, I don't know, let's uh, name it like Misha, <laughs> Misha best template. So it's not just a template, it's the best template. And we can, for example, start from here. Okay, let me just uh, remove all of that and I'm just gonna show you anything custom. Okay, some custom stuff <laughs> is going to be here. It's going to be here. All right, so we're gonna save it like this and that's our custom page template. What does it mean? It means if we go to two posts or two pages, for example, we can select our custom template from here in template section. So I can select it from here, update. And if I go to the website, you can see that the content from our custom page template is now displayed. And we can do the same for posts as well. So if you go here, you can see that you can select your custom page template here. And of course you can decide for what post types your custom page template is going to be available. And in our case, we can decide that when we move our custom page template from the database, from here, from site editor to our custom theme. All right. And how to do that actually? So we're just going to go here and here we just create something like uh, something custom, for example, Misha best template like this. 
and it's gonna be HTML. Then we just gonna go here. We're gonna go to our custom template, edit it, and um, yeah, copy all its code from here, save it like this, and then we just need to go to theme.json file, scroll down, and then we just need to provide one more option here. It's gonna be custom templates, and it's gonna be an array. And here we need to provide all the custom page templates we created in our block theme. And it should have name. For example, in our case, it's gonna be sorry, it should be the file name. Then title. And then it's gonna have post types, which is actually an array of all post types where this template can be used. For example, let's use it only for posts. So you're not gonna use it for pages, only for posts. But of course you can provide pages here, something like page or any custom post type available on your website like this. All right, on that save, and let's just go to our site editor here, and um, let's just refresh it completely. Maybe we can go here and refresh this page like this. Then I'm just gonna delete this custom page template because as you can see, we already have this custom template available from here. And let's remove it from here. All right, and then let's just go to posts. And as you can see, as you can see our custom page template is available for posts, but it, it is not available for pages because we didn't provide the post type page here in post types. All right, I guess that's actually pretty much it. Everything I wanted to tell you about page templates now I told you. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys and uh, see you in the next one. Do not forget to subscribe. Bye.